We're at Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. The Tennessee rivals about to do battle. The rail rivalry is what they call it on the season. He stands to the right of Artopia. Second down. Phillips. Jenkins there to wrap him up for the Bucks. Looks like he has enough for a first down. Opening drive. Artopia is near 2,000 yards passing on the season. Mees with some yards after the catch. Leads their team with three interceptions at a pick six last week against Wofford. Appleberry, his first attempt of the afternoon. It'll bring up second down. Since ETSU's kind of gotten Chattanooga off their uh, schedule. Artopius in the mock, second in the SoCon in total yards, and with targets like that, Watley to get a first down. That's why. Line. Chattanooga, the only team in FCS top 15 in both red zone offense and red zone defense. And Appleberry gets him inside the 15. And really good job. Started their career at one program, have gone other places. Um, but it's good to see the, the kind of longevity on a lot of these players here in Chattanooga. Phillips, the intended target, late from 25 yards shy of their career rushing mark. Not available today, but Appleberry is. And he pushes behind the big guys for the first score of the game. Still throwing the football. But again, you see all the weapons that they have with the offensive unit. An efficient 75-yard drive to start things out in a renewal of this series. And for the fifth time, of Payne Zeller against Wofford last week. Third down in the flat, completing to Tommy Winton. And it's enough to move the chain. He's second on their team. All their injuries, and they've had issues offensively. They go wildcat with Zach Borish. Little option action. Keys to the game said this is vital for ETSU for a lot of reasons. And a first down carry by Irby. This is, and again, it's so important because when you, uh, ETSU hasn't seen this year. ETSU's converted on its first two third downs and a connection. Will Huzzy. Up here as the game goes on. Demetrius Coleman on that last tackle. Oh. Little option with Riddle. Ball is loose. Scramble for it, and the Mox come up with it. Here early in the game. Tenth turnover on the season for the Bucks. They're minus two in that category. Wide open Phillips. Reversing field. Caught from so far, as per usual. First time he's played in the real robbery. Pressure comes. Extending the play. And he'll pick up a few program. He had no connection as far as we know to this area or the school. In the flat, Phillips. Just put it his way, he'll catch it. Taken down by Khalil Sam Anderson. Phillips. See, with a winning percentage over 800, and then he left that role as an assistant at Furman before taking over in Johnson City a couple of years ago. Inside. Going against, when you have offensive linemen, they punch it in again for another running touchdown right up the middle behind the big boys. Appleberry's having him. Gino Appleberry. Both mox touchdowns so far give him five the on the year. Gino Appleberry says, give me the ball. I'll get it across the goal line for you. He has so far. Bucks three for three so far. Free Movement play. up front. Riddle deep for Huzzy. Ooh. Pulled it in. Don't know if he got a foot down. This game would really be an offensive powerhouse. It's going to be the big question. Second down and four. Mays he has been a popular target. Get him off balance. Third down and seven. Artopius on the run. Watley has the first down in Bucks territory. To the great tradition of the Chattanooga Choo Choo and railroading oh. throughout the state. Jamor Mees with oh a play to remember goodness. in the rivalry. Oh my. His second receiving touchdown of the season may be the most impressive. Three possessions, three scores for the Mox. Kryle's extra point. Makes it a 21 0 game. Because then he's just, these receivers have just been wide open all day. And you see here, just puts on the burners, gets it into the end zone when you have this kind of buffer early in the game. Looking to cut outside and finding some room. Reggie Davis. Able to count on to get some live game reps. Chris Hope on that last stop. Watley. Good job by Arnold to wrap him up. Second on their team in tackle. Play, play better defense um, instead of making silly penalties like that. Four penalties so far. Chris Houston gets a try. And once again, a penalty marker. Hey, if your guys keep doing this, you know, they might get ejected from the game. Back in the red zone where the mocks are third best in FCS. Inside the opponent's 20. He's got a chance to double that total here this afternoon. Push him. Maybe on the next couple of snaps. Oh. And the ball comes out. 
um, those type of intangibles in his, his team um, throughout uh, his, his tenure here at ETSU. Third down. Bucks now 5 of 7 on third. Chattanooga on ETSU in the rail rivalry. Artopius. So many weapons around him. That time he hits his tight end Camden Overton for the first time today. Or all of these receivers do a phenomenal job of getting the football and being able to get upfield. Oh! And follow the bouncing ball into the hands of Javon Henderson. Exceptions like that. So it, it, it's going to happen. Um, the thing is, does it happen in critical parts of the game? They're up 21 nothing. He's been able to march up and down the field. Um, Bucks have been out game 240 to 70. Of course, mm. when you can't protect your quarterback, bad things can happen. And there he is. Just over 45 yards, but Fields got a little too aggressive. And I think that's going to a couple of weeks back. Distance. And it's good. Free TSU tackle that prevented that from getting a whole lot more exciting for Watley. Artopius in the flat. Man on the move is Appleberry. And knocked out of bounds. Was senior, but... We've seen some good things out of Lance Jackson, Chris Houston, and Reggie Davis as well. And a second down. Davis. Across the 25. The calls are here. Just the third career game for Riddle. This time the handoff. Irby. That's a first down. And, of course, at this stage of the very good run for the Mox. Very good run for him. Jacob mm. Huseman, one of just four quarterbacks in FCS history with more than 4,000 career rushing yards. Using in at 100 career tackles. Redshirt Jr. out of Middletown, Ohio. Artopius time. Got him. In the direction of Mays. Got it. Touchdown. Score. Just cooked him on that route too, Pete. Cooked him on the route. Second touchdown pass of the day. Cryo adds the extra point. Experience because you never know. You're always one play away. Artopius Phillips right there. Henderson. They'll bring up third. You can throw the ball to. They're going to catch it, get some yards under the catch, but they're really good in that slot. Davis, mm. part of the future of this Chattanooga running game. Powell. And the Reds. Yeah. Looks like they have one possibly in the stable. Garnett made another stop. This time to his right goes Davis. Oh. Gets to the second level. Oh, my gosh. And into Bucks Terror. Third down and long. Mox, two for four on third downs. All kinds of time. Artopia sips it. Complete. To do kind of an apprenticeship, an internship, if you will, for what he hopes is a really good coaching career. And he finds Phillips there. Almost turned the corner and got a career. And now just here he is taking the reins elsewhere. In the flat, Phillips. And enough for a first down. Third and goal. Artopius. End zone, leap, oh. Overton, did he get a foot in? No. Okay, a vital part of their 22 to 10 victory. A veritable chip shot, but it's no good. Clayton Kryle missing wide right on that short attempt. Irby on first down. Good yards out close to the 30 yard line. Five of 12 on the day. Oh. Intercepted. Riddle has it picked off. When you throw it to an All-American. I think at this point of the game, they're probably going to start putting backups in so they can get some live reps. Appleberry running with a vengeance on first down into Bucks territory. As a Chattanooga team that's allowed just 19 total touchdowns on the season. And Appleberry off the fake handoff. Artopius and probably could have gone. Gill says in during his career. Appleberry. Ooh, face mask. Only flags coming in from different direct business to take care of. It looks like they've got a fifth SoCon win in hand, though. Here, Artopius pressured and taken down. Zach West. Uh, what we saw, which would have prevented that uh, sack. Kryle, 37-yarder. That one's good. Riddle giving to Irby. Irby has a hole, and he's got the first down. 15 carries now. Nashville, Alabama. On after they get great field position off that turnover. Davis spinning his way back to the right. Finally caught from behind. Hope gets him on the tackle that they have this afternoon. Another opportunity for Kryle. This one from 38 after he hit one from about that distance earlier. And after missing that set so far today. And here he goes. 
Idaho transfer. Upended near the 30-yard line. Plays in in general. <laughs> Again, the Wildcat. That time a bobble. Boris falling on it. It'll bring up third down. Or will it? Mox say they've got the ball, and they do. We'll get some PT. Schomburg play action. Here comes pressure, and he'll throw it away. Miscommunication. Receiver was going out blocking. Didn't know he was actually the seven, maybe closer to a 48-yard attempt. Cryo with a snap down. Plenty of distance. Five and one mark in the SoCon. And no doubt they'll remain right up there in the national rankings. What a nice grab. Backing up into the three points in this rail rivalry. This will be the most lopsided Ooh. win for either team in a while. Hard hit delivered by Sheldon Arnold. And I don't believe they will. And that'll do it. Rusty Wright and George Quarles will shake hands at midfield. As the Mocs get the 34-3 win, Rusty Wright and his alma mater now a 28th win in his fifth season as their head coach. Great day because um, you guys look really strong and should have a really bright future for the rest of the season. And the guys in blue for a Singleton. And our great sponsor, Ingalls, Pete Kennedy saying so long. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Well.